Today I want to talk about um, this book by Michael Schmeling. Uh, I have two books by Michael Schmeling and I got them both at Dashwood Books. I don't know why. That might be a coincidence. But um, the first time I was there, well, the first book I got, Hi Heike, this is the first book I got. And um, so that book was actually sort of on sale, but not really. David from Dashwood told me that you would have to put an order in and pay for it, and then they would send you the book. And one of the reasons why that happened was because the book is um, is handwritten. So uh, I'm not going to show this book, but it's a little hard to see with the reflection anyway. But if you can sort of see, all this text in the book is handwritten with a pencil. So there's a... Uh, Where's all the text? So here's more text. All right. So Michael literally wrote, uh, I think it was supposed to be 500 books. In the end, it ended up being less than that. It's my blank pages. But the, the book I want to talk about today is this spectacular, I think, uh, book, Your Blues. I think Michael Schmeling is uh, one of the most exciting American photographers today. Uh, it's not a name that comes up a lot, um, which sort of bothers me, but you know, what are you going to do? But this is the latest book, I think the latest book that he did, Your Blues. And it's a book about music. Um, and you might wonder, like, how could that be interesting? Haven't I seen every picture that has done about music? And you have not. So let's see if I can show you this nice little production here. And I got this also at Dashwood Books because there was a book signing and so I I don't know if I knew about the book, but I immediately bought it seeing it. So there's all these photographs that are done about music, or they have something to do with music, but they're all, I think, uh, incredible, surprising, showing you music the way you've never seen it before. So it's not like, you know, the photography you see in magazines or in, you know, websites where musicians show their stuff. It's these just spectacular. I think they're really spectacular photographs of music, around music, all kinds of music. Um, and not every picture is, is obviously music related. You know, it's these kinds of pictures. When you see a picture like that, you just know there's a really good photographer because, you know, who would take that picture? This is just one of those pictures. You know, I don't know when you were there. Maybe if you saw the last, no, the one before when I talked about Michael Schmidt. There were, in, in, in Einheit and Unity, there were some pictures that were very similar to this. And then here's a picture of a picture. So if I, um, hi Chantal, if I hadn't told you what this was all about, you would probably guess at some stage it's about music. And of course it's called Your Blues, so you know. Just uh, an abs absolutely incredible book. I think one of the, the best American photo books that I bought uh, over the past, I don't know. I don't know when I bought this, I don't remember. Is there a date in here when this was signed? No, but it's recent. So this is a co-production between Skinner Books in Italy and the Ice Plant. I think Ice Plant is somewhere out in, in the American West, in LA maybe, I don't know, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about these pictures other than they're spectacular. There's just such a variety, such a mix. I think it's really difficult to pull that off. Um, and there will be some changes coming up. So right now, so far, the format of the book is pretty simple, with one image on the right-hand side. So at the, at the book signing, Michael had a, a little stack of work prints and everybody who bought and signed uh, got a book signed. He picked a couple work prints and put them in the book. So here's one of those that I got. That doesn't come with a book regularly, but I, I, I really quite like this idea of, of getting this little work print um, in the book. It's, it's such an easy idea, such a simple idea, but you know, I don't think any other photographer has ever done that. It's really uh, fantastic. So obviously this is music. 
Not every picture is necessarily fully in focus, doesn't really matter. Because why do pictures have to be in focus or not, why can't they be blurry or, you know, a good picture can just be it's nice, right? Can just be a good picture. So, so far this is pretty basic in, in terms of the setup. And then here's the first picture that goes across the gutter. Now we could, ah, this doesn't really fit on the, on the phone screen. Um, now we can argue about the whole gutter thing. I think like the older generation of photographers usually doesn't like pictures going across the gutter. I can sort of see the point. I don't mind it, but I think if you put a picture across the gutter, then the book has to open well, and this one doesn't. So, uh, you know, this is, you know, just an observation. Maybe I would have to pull this apart better, but, uh, you know, if you make a book with pictures across the gutter, then make sure that the book opens really flat. Um, so, okay, so here we are with another picture crossing the gutter. And I'm back to... This one sided here. I think the, the strength of this book is, so here's a pairing. The strength of this book is, is just this way of, of making these surprising pictures that somehow talk about music and this whole idea of, of, of the community. Music without a community I think is, is unthinkable. And there are all these different communities uh, that often are you know, not related to one another. They don't interact, but they, they share the same passion um, and this is what this book is really about, this passion of, of music. Here's another work print that I got. It's actually quite lovely, I think. Um, so, um, so we've seen the first couple deviations from the format already. It's a lovely portrait here. And there's more to come. I've been, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about American photography and about why American photography is so boring, mostly. You know, I mean, it's good, right? There's a lot of good American photography, but, you know, who does something new? Who sort of pushes the boundaries? And there's just so few people. There are all these schools. Uh, it's just a coincidence that I just said school. All these schools, and they do what they do well, you know, there's the Rod Robert Adams School, and the John Gossett School, and then there's the Sternfeld School, and, you know, people work in these traditions, and they make nice work, but, you know, there's so few people that are sort of really pushing the boundaries and trying to, to come up with something new, and I think Michael Schmeling is one of those guys, and there are others, um, that really try to, you know, make something new, something that's not just yet another version of Robert Adams or Joel Sternfeld or what have you. And that's one of those things that I really appreciate about uh, Schmeling. All these pictures are really incredibly well seen, they're, they're tender, they're uh, fantastic, I think. And they just talk about music in a different way. Oh, this is a blue picture here. So the pictures across the gutter, the big pictures across the gutter, I don't think that's a very successful device, so you have to be careful with that. I don't know if you can still buy this book. Uh, you might. You have to check out the Ice Plant, their website, or Skinner Books. Um, doesn't really matter. This is not a sales pitch anyway. That's a great picture. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm literally envious of, of a lot of these pictures. I wish I could make these pictures, because I wouldn't just make that picture, you know? And then here's... The first really big deviation where you have this grid of eight photographs which i think that's something you have to really pull off it's a little hard to see here uh, on the screen but I, I do think it works really well um, and then and it keeps going so this really amplifies the whole richness of of music and that scene you know i think i can I want to say I can sort of feel, I mean, I can really feel something when I look at this book, even though a lot of this music might not be the kind of music that I want to listen to, or I would listen to, but it doesn't really matter. So he mixes all these different photographs in here, so some of these are really just snapshots, but it, it works. So here's the same idea with, this is just a grid based with this picture is bigger here. I don't know, I, I don't know how where I would place this book. I mean it's sort of like there's a bunch of things going on here that maybe are related to uh you know 
in terms of the history of photography, if you think about, I don't know, Wolfgang Tillmans and there's like William Eggleston and all these guys. And then there's this, which sort of distills everything into its own thing. And it, it really has this voice here. So this is like a collage -y, uh construction. It's like four images, I think. On the other, on the other uh, page you have this one photograph. It's actually kind of surprising how, how well this, this shows on the phone screen because the paper is sort of a little, um, you know, you see how reflective it is. It's really difficult to, to look at the book if you have uh, strong lights. But it works really well with the, with the phone screen and, and the angling here. So you see the book has now moved away from the single picture to these, these groups, these intense groupings of pictures. And ideally you would probably spend more time looking at this book than, than what I'm doing right now for you and with you. But that's always true for basically every photo book. So, you know, there's blues in here, there's hip hop, there's hardcore, punk, you know, there's even some dude with a camera. Oops, let's skip this. So you see, this is uh, there's a lot going on in, in this book. And it sort of all works together. You know, if I had told you, uh, well, here's a book that shows hip hop scene and the punk scene and I don't know, a blues scene, and these are all these photographs. You, you know, I think your expectation in general, maybe it's just my expectation, is that, you know, there's, there's certain visuals that, that, that are established with uh, certain types of music and they're, they're sort of distinct, you know. If, if I say hip hop, you have an expectation of what a picture looks like and it's very different than maybe punk. But here it all comes together and it's just this one big world of, of music and you can, you can you sort of see the shared passion and, and the sounds, you know, pictures don't come with sounds, the sounds almost don't matter that much. It's really about this, this general shared passion to make something that is, you know, uh, a, a communal experience, the kind of communal experience that we're, we're sort of missing now because we are all isolated, uh, sitting in our homes or, you know, with social distancing and all. So this book also talks about all these things that, um, let's see, that's the print that I got, uh, all these things that we can't have right now, except of course we can sort of have it in, you know, by either like joining somebody on, on Instagram or listening to music, but it's not quite the same as going to a concert and and sort of feeling the sound waves, you know, hit your body, your, your ear, uh, as much as, you know, your whole body, you know. You know what I'm talking about. You've been to a concert. Even if you go to a classical music concert, there is that experience of, of the music just hitting you and washing over you, which you will never have if you sit at home and watch a concert on YouTube or, you know, as much as that's nice to see somebody streaming uh, music. So maybe this is sort of a book about the, the future that soon enough hopefully we'll all have again where we can go out and, and enjoy, enjoy something together as, as a group, as, you know, as human beings. <clears throat> so, so, almost near the end of the book now. Um, It's like across the gutter again here. Okay. And you see the book gets uh, simpler in a way again. You know, this craziness of like eight pictures that you had in the middle that you don't want to sustain that. You want to end your book with something that's a little slower, where you sort of have a release. Um, and that's what's going on here. You know, there's the occasional pairing. Um, but you don't have this, this mosaic of, of, uh, of visuals coming at you. You just see these individual pictures again. I see a little sock over the microphone. I don't know, I've, I've never been in a band, so I have no access to that aspect of the world of music. I'm, I'm assuming it's exciting and thrilling. 
um, you know, maybe in another life. Okay, and then we're almost at the end of this book. This is like an echo of something we've seen before. I want to say there's a, you know, there's a hole in the, not, possibly not the same drum, but you know, there's this echo going from the beginning to the end. That's always nice in a photo book. And then, you know, the doorway, which I know that sounds trite and obvious, but you know, at the end of the book, going down the stairs, there's a door. It's not quite the end. I don't know what you make of this book. I think it's just uh, a spectacular collection of, of photographs that I don't know, I wouldn't have taken. I don't know how many people would have taken them. But they're really unique and, and, and really good. And then here's your, your final image. I think there's an essay. Is there an essay at the end of the book? Oh, there is an essay, which I never read, but you know, that's just me. So this came out. Uh, what does it say? Principle Optimal, blah blah blah. Is there no date on here? 2018, so it's like almost two years old now. I remember I bought it in uh, December 2018 at Dashwood Books. So this is Your Blues by uh, Michael Schmeling. <laughs> 